his career is kind of lackluster and it's kind of winding down, it seems. And, and you know what it is? It seemed like when in his first three years, first two years, yeah, they, gave, they gave him everything. 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 Yeah. Now it's just, this is, we're going to give you consolation, uh, consolation money. You know what I'm mean? saying? Yeah, it's different you know now. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, all right. Hope you got that out the way. Speaking of impact, y'all already know, no surrender. Hold up, they're going to give Cody first. Oh, oh, Cody. All right, so, uh, for speculations, Cody is signing with the WWE. It's crazy. Uh, the Miz dropped a hint that not even the Miz. The Edge? No, not even Edge. What? That boy on his radio spit on his podcast. Uh, Pat McCaffrey. Yeah. Yeah, man. He said, so I hear Cody's coming to WWE. Yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. First he goes in and then he's like, nah, I'm actually happy. If he's coming, it's that's the other. I really hope he comes to SmackDown. Uh, a lot of people thought that uh, uh, that he was going to be the Miz partner for WrestleMania. I kind of knew that was happening too, but then once we heard all the rumors about uh, Jake Paul, Logan Paul, Logan, Logan Paul, Paul, Logan Paul, Logan, <laughs> Logan Paul, Jake Paul, they both the same person. Uh, Ed, Edge dropped a hint of maybe he might be going into a battle with uh, with uh, uh, Cody. Cody. What do uh, you say? He mentioned the whole this ain't smoke and mirror shit. Remember that was Cody's theme music, a okay. theme song from back in the day and shit like that. Uh, again, man, let me know in your comments down below how you feel about Cody, his whole transition from AEW to WWE, how well his run will go, because we never know, man. Uh, where does this leave Brandy Rhodes at? You feel me? Where does Brandy, leave Brandy I Rhodes? I hear she's still training, mm -hmm. but you also hear that people are glad that she's going from AEW. Yeah. But also her rumors that people are glad that she's going, she wasn't Nigga, good, Dan, nigga, Dan, nigga Dan Lambert was cutting them promos on her ass, man. I heard, man. Dan Lambert was cutting them promos on her ass, I'm just man. saying, man, like, uh, I hope the best for them. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to wish the worst for anybody. You do know Josh Alexander is also going for Impact Wrestling, too, right? I didn't know, know yes, that. Yes, Josh Alexander is now Impact Wrestling, if y'all didn't know that, man. I'm not I did know not know. What? Uh, what? How? What? Hey, man. What? Hey, man. Hey, man. We don't know. The one guy they should have kept with a contract? Move. It's good that it's No Surrender 2021, man. It was off the motherfucking hook. I don't care. How many jerks do you get this bitch, man? Uh, so, uh, I told you, all of them get five, uh, five for the impact. Impact, impact show, they, show they ask. Now, you, no, I've given impact five ever since, what, two years ago? It's the anniversary. It's the anniversary. Yeah, they've been getting five on their pay-per-views ever, ever, ever since the first release of yes. WWE, the first wave of WWE Superstars, you have been giving them the five dirts, man. Ever so, since, bro. I dig this shit, man. I so, think, like, I think that, ever bro, since yeah. I saw the first No Surrender 1 with their first pay-per-view. No Surrender 1, nigga. I'm not even sure. I don't know. I can't, I, I'm not sure, bro. I don't know. Don't get me to even lying. Stick with slam anniversary. Slam anniversary. Because that's what you see. Slam anniversary. Yes, that's what you see. Slam anniversary. Slam anniversary. Slam anniversary. When I really mm -hmm. saw the debuts and everything, and I was like, all right, this is worth watching. First wave. The first wave. Every pay per view they put on within the last year since slam anniversary. Uh huh. All right, now you you, you got your uh, pins of coffee. You already know. Usually he doesn't give a fuck. Which uh, later on down the line he probably, probably won't go. <laughs> you already know. Uh, can I? Come on, man. Laugh with black buttons, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to go fuck. I'm just going to sit down. <laughs> All right, man. We got the first match. Trey Miguel, man, uh, defeated uh, John Skyler by pinfall. Uh, it was no uh, belt on the line or nothing like that. Feel me? Mm. Uh, we got Havoc de uh, uh, defeated to Neil Dashwood. You already know. No, that was going to happen. Ah, now here it's where I was here where it really goes down. We got Jake something, Ace Austin, Chris Bay. Mike Mike Bailey for a uh, four way a four way match when it becomes number one contender mm. for the uh, X Division Championship. Man. Got it. What do you thought about that match? Did you even watch those surrenders? Uh, I watched the last three matches. Coffee, what do you be doing in your spare time? Let, let the world know out there what the coffee do in his spare time. Coffee has kids. Oh, okay, I was just gonna say you like you like walking have, on the beach, have, you know, looking at the stars. I have two daughters, and right. they don't they don't rest. <laughs> <laughs> that brings me to my thing. My next thing. She don't got no kids. Don't have no kids. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, let's get it in, man. Jake something, man. Of course, he's a big man. Of course, the exhibition has no limits, man. Mm -hmm. And Jake something is something. Of course, he's one of the demons. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Definitely. He's one of the demons. I'm thinking which one's going to win it, though, because of the whole Bullet Club thing going on right now, man. Well, the whole Bullet thing, man. We don't go with Chris Bay. Oh, yeah. All right, man. I, we, I, we, I, we, for we, me, it just keeps like he's. It's like he's right there, and then they so, snatch him. Give me your opinion on Chris Bay, man, and him being a I think he's one of the most you, you underrated. You gave me your opinion yeah, on I think he's one of the, like, like I said, I think he's one of the most underrated superstars right now. Not even underrated, just unutilized. I, I'm not even sure what's going on. It, I don't know. 
But for me, I feel like Bullet Club is not his fit. I feel like he should have. His fit is more like Swerve Scott. <laughs> I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Damn, bro. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't feel him with the Bullet Club, man. I dig I... it, but it just feels like. It's not reaching up to his potential. I mean, okay. unless he's going back to New Japan, whatever, I dig it, but... Now, do you see, uh, do you see Jake something, uh, actually defeating Trey Miguel? Yeah. Okay. Because he almost beat him last time. All right, all right, all right. Let me know down in your comments down below. If you don't want to see the good brothers like us, I mean, uh, we available on all of your platforms out there, uh, Clubhouse, whatever the fuck we are. We're on everything. Right, Spotify, everything, you know what I'm saying? Hashtag 30 years old. Listen to up, man. We got Jonah uh, versus Black Taurus of... DK. Yo, man. Uh, what match I hated? Nah. Like, Black Taurus put on, though, bro. A lot. He was, put they, on. They was athletic. He put on. I did watch his match. Yeah. I watched his match because I hate Black Taurus. <laughs> and I had to be like. <laughs> you know what I said? He don't fit the whole decay shit. I don't give a fuck, man. I don't know, but. but he put on. These two guys were mad athletic. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Flips. Yeah. Fucking cartwheel. Yeah, man. Your black, I was like, whoa. Now you gotta remember, uh, Black Taurus is also from uh, uh, Lucha, Lucha uh, Triple A and stuff like that. So we're gonna Triple A. Johnny, uh, uh, John Morrison has a new name, Johnny, Johnny Superstar, man, and he made a Super Weight debut not too long ago. But I think Black Taurus, he put on his, 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 his he put on his best against yeah. Jonah. We all know that he wasn't one to win that yeah. match, man. Yeah. But uh, yeah. I would like to see him go again later on down the line. You think no, man, I would like to, to move the mask off, man. Take the Taurus thing off, man. Come on. Nah, man, you always say something, something crazy, man. I don't know. All right, man, next match, man. This was a first ever match. Jay White, too sweet, man. Switchblade versus Eric motherfucking Young of Violent by Design. And that match was whoop, 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 whoop. Come on, man. Clap it up, man. Clap Fine, it man. up, man. Did you give the people what they want? Yes, they did, man. It definitely was a match I wasn't expecting to be dope. I, I, I want to say this. You know what it was? It's because I'm not. I haven't really. I'm not even gonna play like I've seen a million Jay White, White matches, matches or Eric Young matches. Or something I've like seen that. more Eric Young matches than I've seen Jay White matches. It's just so, way, then, is he good? Yeah, I just hate the move now. What? The, the switchblade is move. Uh, the, the, you know why I don't like it? Here we go. It seems like that's everybody's move. I mean, come on. It's bro. his move. It's Cody's move. It's all looking. Oh, does Damien Priest move. Oh, does. Yeah, move. yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just saying, bro. Uh, I want to give a little shout out to uh, Eric Young, really. Because since Sammy Callahan has been gone, and we, we do. Up to sanity. And we, the, we, we, we do miss Sammy Callahan. Eric Young has been the mm -hmm. gatekeeper for Impact Wrestling. Do you, do you agree? Mm, you we'll talk about this when we get to the last ah, one. Let us go down in the we'll comments. We'll talk about it when we get to the last one. Jay match. White, Jay White actually did defeat uh, Eric Young. Uh, it was a dope match. Of course, this 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 beat between Bullet Club and uh, Violent by Design is far far from over. Feel me? You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's get into this next match, man. Deanna Peraza, man. Uh, she uh, took on Miranda Alize, man. Yeah. Uh, this was a champ champ a, a, a match where you, she could pick whatever championship she wanted to go against. Now, of course, if you didn't know, Miranda Alize was in the final match of the ROH Women's Championship match okay. against Roxy. You know All what right, I'm saying? You feel me? Uh, speaking, of, speaking of Roxy, Roxy has signed with WWE. Yeah, you feel yeah, me? So yeah. we have to drop that down in order. But of course, she picked the ROH title to go against Donna Parasa. And uh, she did her best, but uh, the Virgil Rosa, man. Yeah, yeah, we already know. The, the Virgil Rosa, man. Uh, Come on, bro. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I bet you already you know. He knew. Yeah, of course, man. Come on, man. Deanna Parraza, he's up here. Come on. Virgil Rosa, nigga, Matt, uh, the dude, the drama king. I, I was gonna call him Matt Aiden, uh, Aiden English. Yeah. Uh, yo, he, he gives all praises to her. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how Corey Page and Manny, if Manny Rose was coming out or some shit like that, yeah. or my brother was going out? He goes to him like that, you feel me? You already know, man. Let's get into this next match, man. Got Matt Cardona, man, uh, versus Jordan Grace for the Impact Digital Media Championship. I get a boy hand clap, man. Look, look, are you giving are, are, are you give, are you giving him a hand clap or are you giving the match the hand clap yourself? Why is that called? I like I kinda like him now, man. I kinda know, like him. I don't know, man. The boy's a straight asshole. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. Oh, I don't man. know. You know what it is? I think he's worse than MJF, but he hasn't been on the mic as Ooh. much as MJF. Ooh. He's a worse heel. He's definitely, he's definitely up there with MJF. Let me like, know how you feel, guy, in the comments below. Of course, I just think he Matt doesn't. Yeah, right? He's not on the mic as much as MJF. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm saying MJF, I just think MJF 
Mike Smith is more popular. Well, I mean, I was doing Michael Dunn is killing the fucking. He's killing, it, he, he, he's killing the, 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 yeah. the, the media. Joey Grace put up a great match. And again, if y'all didn't realize, Joy, uh, uh, Matt Cardona is also the NWA World Heavyweight Champion. You feel me? So that man is doing this. This nigga called call. I give him some of the I give the people what they want, man. I said, give the people what they want. They go that brass ring, right? Yeah. They, they go that brass yeah, ring. Right right. So what's next for Mac Cardona? What's next for um, uh, Jordan Grace, brother? Please. Uh, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Jordan Grace is always gonna be good. Mac Cardona is making itself even better. So the qualification, be always good, right? Yeah, yeah always yeah, ready. Yeah, right? It's just like he was supposed to. You man. feel me? All right, man. We got the next match, man. We got the Good Brothers uh, versus the Gorgio Gabriel of Destiny Tama Tama Tonga uh, Tonga Loa uh, for the Impact World Tag Team Championship, man. And the, and if the Good Brothers lose, if the Good Brothers lose, they will not be in the Bullet Club no more. So let me get this match ahead. Uh, I didn't see what was gonna happen at the end. <laughs> I didn't see that happen. Now, did, but did you feel the real animosity and heat between, yeah, between uh, Tommy Stronger and Paul? I felt like kind of, kind of a couple real blows. It was a little. It was like I felt like this, uh, a couple real knees. The Bill Cup is ten years old, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. man. The Bill Cup is like ten years old. Yeah, bro. A couple, couple real knee shots. A couple real blow punches. Like ah. Uh, she was a little real for me. Okay. Uh, New Japan, I guess, style that uh, the, the GOD doesn't hold off. <laughs> they can you know, say your strong style, baby. Strong style, style. Um, yeah. And for Switchblade to come out, a lot of people don't know Switchblade is the leader of, you know, for, for, for three right years, now. three years, yeah. longest leader. For him, to, him to come out right now uh, and do that to them. Chris Bay, Chris Bay, you right, Chris Bay don't fix. He was like. Yeah, because he doesn't know the, the yeah, inner circle. The, good, he don't know, man. The, the inner beef, what's going on. That's like me joining a game with you, and you like, we got beef with these dudes over here. And I'm like, bro, I, I don't know those dudes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, bro? So, like, uh, for me, like, to kick G.O.D. out. To kick G.O.D. out. It's tough. How, how is Kenny Omega going to feel about this shit? How is, uh, you know, how? You seem like Adam Cole. I, I, I don't feel, so I don't, I don't feel. The uh, AEW doesn't acknowledge the Bullet Club. Mm. Not too much. All right, so we got Jay White in AEW and, 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 and they don't and, and impact. Yeah, but they, 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 don't. They, they acknowledge the Bullet Club there, but they only said the leader of the Bullet Club. But that was it. They didn't say too much more. Okay. Okay. He didn't, he didn't really even when much. they all st okay, when, even when they all standing yeah. around together, the, yeah. the young bucks and Adam Cole, yeah. even yeah. Red Dragon. It's okay. story line. Oh, it's a lot of storylines if you ask me a call. Alright, let us know down in the comments below how y'all felt about that uh that match itself. The blow to the bullet club, man. Like the top the, the G O D Tonga Tonga, like Yeah, that was crazy. Yo, Mickey James, Tosh Still, Impact, Knockout World Champion. I did not watch this match. They're not gonna get to watch this. And if y'all don't know him, uh uh again, Tosh Still's first ever woman to win the Ultimate X um, Knockouts Ultimate X match. Uh she didn't in the match, man. Uh, wow. Against him, her, and Mickey James, man. Mickey James returned the knockout title at a uh, at no surrender, man. Savannah Evans played her part. Uh, Chelsea Green came out because, of course, Mickey James uh, uh, promised Chelsea Green the title shot. Hold on back. You know what I'm saying? Hold on down. It's like that. That's trash. Uh, that's trash, man. Oh, man. Uh, I told yeah, you. Yeah, we had so much. I told you. If, the, if, if you listen to the Good Brother, man. Tasha should have just cast that shit in uh, for the X Division title, man. I would have seen her. I would have rather seen her and Trey McGill go out because Impact yeah. Wrestling is good at intergender matches. If they would, that's what they should have did. They should have went that way. But hey, it is what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? Right, where do you see Tasha now? <sighs> Back at the bottom, back tag team. Oh man, it shouldn't be that way. Back at the bottom, but it shouldn't be that way, man. The baby girl, man. I hope you get what you want, man. Because you did, the, you do the deserve it. Feel me? Uh, we yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, got Impact World uh, Championship title title. New moves. W moves. Mm -hmm. You know who? Had, this the, match. You, you know who's the funniest of this match? Ooh. Ryan Myers. Oh, uh, all commentary because he was cutting. Big cast ass. Yeah, he was. He's like, yo, he only got like five moves. Yeah, <laughs> like, yo, I did this. Uh, and I go lie, my son did like the big boot, the BQD five times. I go, I slam, I slam. But your thoughts on that match? Uh, I didn't put up like I thought it was, honestly. It was dope, bro. It was a good match. It was, dope, it was a five star. 
Was it five star? The thing you said the pay per was five star. Okay. But it was cool to see it, man. Okay. You man. know what I mean by slow? Not like they moves it slow, but like it was just kind of for big men. Yeah. And Moose, he made the boy look good. <laughs> yeah, he did. Moose made. The um, that the most was, mean, the, like the, strong. Yeah, you feel me? And not to say Big Cass is not nice, he's big, but you, you're not big like Moose. Yeah, I said it though. His uh, his move catalog is not big. All right, man. Let's get into the main event, man. You already know, man. I don't know more. Versus Team Impact. Hot <laughs> dog! Hot dog! Hot diggity dog! Hot dog! Hot dog. Of course, Eddie, Eddie Edwards was taken out early in the night, man. Uh, you didn't know he was taken out. Uh, you know, oh, backstage, he was taken out earlier doing the nose around the payment fee and shit like that. Uh, so they put in Willie Mack as his substitute. Yeah. But what came next was a fucking shocker, man. A mad big shocker. No, nah, if y'all didn't know, man, if I don't know more, lose the match, man. Lose, lost the match, man. They will not, they will leave uh, Impact Wrestling, man. And, and I ain't gonna lie, we was both wrong. Yeah. We was both wrong, because I don't know. Uh, Eddie Edwards has betrayed Impact Wrestling, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and of course... Uh, <laughs> you know what they want. No, I, of course, God. No, I have to give it to Eddie? Yeah. Because I, I did not see it come. Uh, oh, he's so an ROH original, so why? The... Yo, but he's so Impact, <laughs> it makes you fucking forget. Uh, he has you know, joy. He was yeah. going so hard with the Impact guys, my nigga. He was the first person to actually come out. Uh, when when it was jumping, he was the first one to come out. Uh huh, uh huh, uh, bro. So it makes yo, bro. I'm just all I'm and, saying. Eddie is, Edwards has betrayed Impact Wrestling, man. So does this mean that Eddie Edwards is coming to uh, uh going to ROH? Is he going to uh what, what's going on, man? Let me know what's going on. Eddie Edwards, man. Eddie Edwards has betrayed Impact Wrestling, man. What's next? Uh, I don't know. I don't know more. It's a part of the Impact Wrestling, yeah, right man. Now. So what's what's next? Our weeks, uh, April, Supercard of Honor, man. Like, what's, you like, what's happening? What's happening? Call Impact, Flash, though. Impact invades Ring of Honor. Mm. First night back. Mm. Mm. Calling it now. Impact invades Ring of Honor. First night back. Do you think uh, Eddie Edwards is mad because he was a captain of Impact Wrestling? Yeah. Team Impact or something like yeah. that? Yeah. I don't yeah. know. It could go many maids, man. But let us know that. It could go anyway. Problem. He could have so many gripes about Impact. And it doesn't even matter. Yeah. They can make up a break and it would, it would kind of make sense with Eddie Shout out to Scott DeMore, baby. Because Eddie Edwards is kind of one of those guys who's done it all. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. All right, man. <laughs> they like, I had to give, give him that. Man. Eddie Edwards trying to take it back wrestling, man. They deliver and going to keep on delivering, man. I told you the boys are like 20 years old, so we good. You feel me? Yeah. All right, man. Uh, we just talk most of the uh, I'm gonna shout out the office of ROH Hall of Fame, man. Uh, we got the Briscoes, okay. uh, Samoa Joe, CM Punk, CM Punk, American Dragon, uh, 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 Dave Bryanson, man. Uh, Missing one person, man. Uh, who's one person, man? Nigel McGuinness. And that's kind of corny, man, because Nigel McGuinness is the one person <coughs> who makes this bring up one of Yeah. First class. And yeah. Dudley's perfect because, I mean, if D D Dudley's really don't need to be in it. The Briscoes. The Briscoes they just said the Douglas. I mean, the Briscoes <laughs> don't need to be in it, to be honest. I, I, I'm agree with you, man, because the Briscoes. They can wait. They can wait. They can wait. They can wait. Not the first year, because there's so many guys in the first year that they should. To be honest, bro. I, I, I hope, it would be pretty cool if they actually always probably actually reached out to WWE. And with, you know, and probably WWE probably curved it or. Yeah, you know, they yeah. Been, we yeah. would never know shit about that. You know what I'm saying? But we would love to see Nigel McGuinness. In the first inaugural class of the ROH, man. Uh, uh, Mr. Chamber, bro. Let's go. Corny. Uh, Your thoughts? Waste of time. Waste of time? Yeah, it's Monday Night Raw. It, 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 is it me? Or did that shit go by quick? Quick. It's like an hour to me. <laughs> I was like, that's it? That's how it's going on? Is it me or did it go like, by once quick? Once the time come at the bottom, I was like, well, that shit. All right, man, let's get into the first match. And we all know what the first match was Roman Reigns and Oldberg, the trash. Got it? Alright, for those of y'all don't know, and I, uh, Roman Reigns has defeated over her, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Uh, but here's a dirty hill fun fact since we be giving these all night. Right. Roman you Reigns. Like nah, you won't like this one. Alright. Roman Reigns is the first ever person to ever defeat Goldberg by submission. Wow. You okay. feel me? Alright. Dead eyes by submission. Goldberg. Look, look, look. 
70. I could have defeated him. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Sharks, duh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, uh, I could have defeated him. He was the first bear to ever, ever, ever defeat Goldberg by, well, by submission, man. Your thoughts on that, man? Who cares? All right, man, we're going to get into the next Coffee night. does not care. And it's, I'm going to be honest with you. It seemed like the females put on more than the yeah, guys. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Females you know, match is way better, bro. You feel me? All right, man. Ray Mysterio uh, versus Trash. the Miz. <laughs> <laughs> Bianca Badea, Alexa Bliss, Dewdrop, Liv Fine. Morgan. This is the best Nikki match Ash, of the night. Rhea Ripley. Best match uh, of the night. Elimination Chamber, females Elimination Chamber. Best match, match of the night. Bro. Thoughts on that, man. Best match of the night. Bro. Okay, man, yo. Best me a, match of the night. Give me a spot, man. Um, Do you think Alexa Bliss should have been in that match? I think Rhea Ripley's spot was dope. Yeah. Alexa Bliss made sense once you've seen it. Mm -hmm. Once you've seen Hun, um, I actually, once you've seen Alexa Bliss and Rhea Ripley going at it, I was like, oh, I actually want that. Yeah. Once I've seen Alexa Bliss and Dewdrop go at it, I don't actually Do want drop, that. Dewdrop, I, like I, I, I like my pipe. Once I saw man. Alexa Bliss and, um, uh, Bianca, Bianca Belair yeah. go at it. I was like, yo, I actually would like that. Bianca Belair has won the female Elimination Chamber match, and of course, it's the first ever time the Elimination Chamber match has been in Saudi Arabia or overseas at any time, man. Uh, Bianca Belair will be fighting uh, uh, Becky, Becky, Becky Lynch at WrestleMania, man, for the Royal Women's title. Your thoughts on Bianca Belair in that match? Stuff at WrestleMania, man. Cool. Do you think Becky? I hope she wins. <laughs> Do you care? I can't, I do care, okay. but you can't care too much. Okay. So, because all right. then they'll do some shit like Austin. Can we, uh, you who? know? Who? Exactly. Who? You know what, uh, see what I mean? All right, all right, all right. Exactly. All right, all right man. Uh, let's get into this next match and all that shit, man. It's a tag team match. Uh, another fire match. Naomi, Ronda Rousey, Charlotte Flair. Uh, and uh, versus Charlotte Flair and Sonya Deville, man. Yeah, Ronda Rousey came out like clips that. Well, I didn't know. That was the like judo, yes, from the Olympics and shit like that. Yeah. And I did also know that she had to have a shit tied behind her head. I didn't know that's completion. Yeah, that I, didn't know, I didn't know that. She kind of shocked me. She watched it the whole match, bro. <laughs> bro, she's the one chick. I was like, I don't want to fight her. Yeah. I know, yo, sign gonna hold you with one hand. She was walking. She's like Hong Kong Fui. You feel me? Yeah, one hand. She was walking. <laughs> walking, man. It was a great match right, to so, me. So, we know it was gonna happen. Let's be real, man. Where does this leave Naomi, man? Who cares? <laughs> now, remember early in the, early in the episode? Not far enough. Early, no. early episode, we told you this was gonna come in the time and the point of the show with Kofi Don't Care. This is it right here, man. I'm <laughs> just saying, man. You can't care. All right. You can't. All right. You start caring, then shit like Oscar happens. Who? Exactly. Okay, man. Next match. Uh, Drew McIntyre. Nah, I'm kind of lost, man. Nobody cares. Uh, he kind of dropped that boy in his head, kind of scary. Boy. Nobody cares. Boy, he almost broke his neck, man. Nobody cares. All right, man. All right, let's know in the comments if you feel cool. So if he did not show up next Monday, I would not care. <laughs> Church. It's crazy, man. No offense, man. I think he's a great person. Uh, fuck. But I do not care if he ever wrestles up again. Yo, they're keeping Drew McIntyre away from Roman, man. That's making me sick, bro. It is what it is. Yeah, that, 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 all right, man. Let's move. Again, if you care too much, man. You know, yeah. you know what I'm mean? All right, man. Next I'm match. Up like Oscar. Uh, who? Yeah, exactly. All right, man. Next match, man. Becky Lynch. Lita, man. Of course, we already told you that. She's pretty dope. Uh, we already told you that uh, Bianca Belair will be fighting Shorty at Mania. But yeah. Lita. It's pretty dope. Nah, this, was, uh, this is a, a Lita. This is the best I've seen her in a long time. In a long time. This is the best I've seen her when she was wrestling, man. Yeah, she's pretty dope. I'm going to hold you, man. Know. She's pretty dope. She put on. Was there a time when you thought? Kid. No, there wasn't a time. Hold on, brother. Hold no, on. No, there was not a time that I thought hold Lita on. was going to win the fucking match. Damn, she took that shit right No, it was not. Damn. Why the hell would I think she going to come back coffee's and beat that <laughs> <I> damn <laughs> Uh, look, look, big look, time Becky Lynch. Yo, why, why the hell? Why would I think? I ain't gonna lie. She's been like a straight gonna, spice girl, man. Why, 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 why would I think that? Why? I'm just saying, brother. Why? All right, man. Would you like to see me to go again? No. Oh, shit, man. Ever. All right, man. Shout out to Botox, baby. Will be. Let us know. Shout out to other female women's wrestlers. They're all. Yes, 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 yes. Like who? That's who? Like I don't know anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Next match, man. Usos, Viking Raiders, man. That match never even happened, right? Because Usos yeah, straight beat the shit out of them. Them up, <laughs> They ended that match before he even started. That's how you're supposed to do it. All right, check it out, bro. Check it out. 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 I would like to see a six. 
man tag team match between the Bloodline, Brock Lesnar, and the Vikings. Do you think they can make Nobody that Nobody Hold on! Do you think, do you think they can make, can make it happen before Mania? Brock Lesnar would look at the Viking Raiders like, why? <laughs> why my head, bro? I can do this. So, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Well, 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 you don't press enough buttons, brother, so what's up? Now you go get it. Uh, uh, do your job, baby. Yeah, what happens, brother, man? You don't worry, no. If you don't want to sit. Do it. Yeah, yeah. Do it. Got the tape on the motherfucking shit. All right? Do it. Yeah, yeah. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. We're on Spotify. You do it. Do it. Yeah, yeah. Excuse me, bro. <laughs> But again, man, I would like to see that. I'm pretty sure some of the viewers out there would like to see that. Next match, man. Next, next, next match. Uh, main event time, Elimination Chamber, Men's Elimination Chamber match, man. Oh, uh, you already know Brock has his ticket already in to yeah, WrestleMania. Yeah, WrestleMania. Uh, he gets hurt. Which I don't give a which fuck. I don't understand. They said he was hurt before. I don't give a no, 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 no. I don't give a fuck if it was a show of energy. I don't give a fuck if it was a concussion protocol, man. Let's be honest, man. He was just a transitional <coughs> champion. That's a, that's, that's all that was. It was just a transitional move that didn't need to even really happen. Said it. Feel me? I said it. All right? Like, let's be real, man. Let, let, let's be real. It never needed to happen. You know what I'm saying? I said it. All right, uh, man. Brock Lesnar's a champ. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I like the new Brock Lesnar. Mm -hmm. he seems happy. Mm -hmm. Cool with it. Like a it was cowboy, man. Like, that uh, boy probably, it, well. Yeah, but he'll probably lose to Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. Okay. All right. All right. Um, that's simple. All right. All right. All right. So we just we already know it's title for title. When it takes over a match, what happens now with the title, man? Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, Roman Reigns gets both the titles. So it's up. Are they going? Are they going to actually unify the titles and make one belt? Yeah. Are they going to unify the roster? It makes sense too. <laughs> it makes they sense. Had nobody. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Carl. All right. All right. All right. Let's get into some AEW work for real quick. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Uh, House of Black, man. Versus uh, uh, Death Triangle, Jeff cool. Metal and Pac Man, you already know. It's cool, it's not, it's not exciting as it, it was. You got a new member of the House of Black coming, who you think could it be? Well, we already know uh, Buddy Murphy's all elite, huh? so what's up, man? I could, uh, I could see Buddy Murphy as being in the House of Black. Do you I, mean, I didn't think of that. You feel me? Uh, I actually, oh, they do travel together and all that, so. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I will actually. Plus, like, we, yeah. saw, we saw that HOG, they. They, uh, I don't know. Come on, call. I don't know. Come on, man. You know how guys, HOG, so I don't know. <laughs> you know how guys scratch their hair, call scratch his mustache. <laughs> yeah. Really? So I, I like I said, I don't know. Man. Uh, I don't know. All right, man. Next. Well, I would like to see Bray Wyatt. Wyndham. Wyndham. <laughs> like, that's what I would like. It's not happening, man. I don't know then, man. So, yeah, 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 I like to happen, but it's not happening. Yeah, I don't know anybody else, man. You feel me? It's going to be Killer Cross, right? I could see Killer Cross. <laughs> Nah, wow. he's, he, nah he, he's doing those things with the Rapper Tribe at MLW, man. You feel okay, me? Okay, well, I can see him. I can see it. I can see it. It, it, it makes sense. Right, it man. makes sense, though. All right, man. We got, uh, we got this whole thing in a circle. Kofi Kingston, Chris Jericho, I man. Fucking hate Kofi Kingston. Oh, cool. uh, what's his name? Eddie Kingston? Eddie Kingston. You hate Eddie Kingston? Yeah, son. Do it! Do it! Don't touch my button. Your button? You don't ever know when to touch the button, so let me do my job for you. Man. Oh, man. Mad people. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of right. people. Yo, yo, your thoughts on the Mad King, man. What's up, man? What's going on? You just like Chris Jericho, man. Yo, Chris Jericho, meathead, right? Jericho's my best. My he, he, you about to say, oh, you Sammy. You Sammy Guevara now, aren't you? That's it. Oh, uh, yeah. No book my ass. Um, man. Listen, man. I'm just not excited. Why, man? I just don't. I, he just reminds me of one of those dudes who's extra, bro. What? <laughs> like, if. Like he was one of them dudes on the block that's just mad extra, bro. And I'm like, yo, bro, I don't need you would you you wouldn't be cool with Eddie Kingston? Oh, I'd be cool with him, but I'd be like, yo, money, you gotta calm down or something. <laughs> uh, it's not even that serious. So we see Santana on T's chilling with Eddie doing his thing. Information yeah, 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 we already know what's gonna happen. So we just leave the inner circle, no more inner circle. No, but that's dumb. That's to dumb. leave one group and go to another group. Okay, all right, okay. That's dumb as hell. Okay. <laughs> Well, it, it, it won't be even a group. I think Eddie's going to be the manager or shit like that, man. Come on, man. It's still a group. It's still a group. All right, man. Uh, Hangman Page. Again, championship reign, man. It's terrible, man. Yeah, not excited. Okay. It doesn't have, it hasn't excited me. You see, he's about to go against Adam Cole, baby. Mm-hmm. Um, no, oh, we didn't talk about something crazy. I'm sorry. i just seen it. Uh, Brock Lesnar almost killed Austin Derrick. Oh my gosh, they killed Kenny. 
So, uh, you bring that up a lot. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Came out of nowhere. Yeah, you got it. Change quickly, man. Swerve, man. He's back at the fire wrestling, man. Uh, he's, he, he's he's in New Japan strong right now, man. Your thoughts on Shane Strickland doing his thing, man? Like it. You know, I'm excited. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm excited. Uh, shout out to my boy Shinada. Uh, he has won his first ever IWGP uh, singles title. Uh, he's uh, he's a U.S. champion and shit like that. So I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, Undertaker, Hall of Fame, man. Dope. You gotta give him a hand clap for that. Worthy of it, man. You know, worthy of it, uh, shit, done it for how many years? 30. 30 fucking years? Prior to that, before it's ever done years. 30 plus years, you know what I mean? Uh, shit, you know what I mean? Hats off, let him do his thing. Uh, and your thoughts on the next inductee, brother? Or who would you like to see inductee? And the Roy, into the Hall of Fame? Yeah. Cause Jericho. Huh? What? All right, never mind. All right, he already, oh, EC3. Titan, Braun Strowman, fully known as Braun Strowman, start their own uh, promotion, bro. You thoughts on that? Your thoughts on that, it's, man. It's worth it. It's all right. Pretty smart. So okay. Let's do it. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. That's Jeff about Jeff it. You already know. You uh, say? Jeff and Matt are back together. Oh, yes, Jeff, 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 Jeff and Matt Hardy are all back together. Yeah, this will be touring. Dude, this is their last run, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, man. Yeah. So I think Fine. that's pretty cool and shit like that. Uh, here's some events that we will be sponsoring coming up next. Uh, we will be sponsoring Victor's Pro Wrestling. Uh, we'll be sponsoring the main event, Tag Team Finals match, who will be the first ever in Victor's Tag Team Champions. So, uh, fire, Texas man. right there, you already know. We also, And that's on uh, February 27th. We also will be sponsoring Project Codename Genesis, March 5th. Dominic De Niro versus Devontae's. You already know how that shit go. Uh, we, uh, here's our next match that we will be sponsoring. Where is that bitch? Because I cannot find that bitch right now. Somebody help me please. Oh, Blood Force Trauma. Uh, March 19th versus East Coast Syndicate for the tag titles. Titles and all that shit for ECW, man. Okay. So uh, catch us there. Uh, you already know. Support independent wrestling, support wrestling in general, man. I appreciate it. Uh, NBA Finals, man. NBA uh, Super Bowl weekend, man. Uh, okay. So. I mean, All Star weekend. Cool. Oh, that's gone. It was fine. All right, man. Some contest is always trash. <laughs> look, look, like, I, yo, you, I had to get on Kobe's good side, oh, man. Yeah, yeah, Kobe was on the... The slam dunk contest was always terrible. Last good slam dunk contest was Zach Levine okay. and... What's the guy's name? Uh, Frost. What's his name? Zach Levine and the other guy? He, he, Aaron. Aaron Gordon. Okay. That was, that was the last good slam dunk contest. What's your, what is your favorite slam dunk moment of all time, bro? I touch for a moment all the time, bro. Let us know. Yo, like, it's a dunk that no one realizes that's so fire. Yo, talk about it. Dominique Wilkins. Okay, man. Let's go. Atlanta Falcon. I mean, Atlanta Hawks. Let's go. Yeah, he throws the, the ball in the paint. Uh huh. And he jumps from kind of outside the paint and dunks the ball. Like, the, for me, that dunk was so fire uh -huh. because he jumped off of vert and he dunks the ball from outside of the paint. Fire. Outside of the. Like, Dotted lines, bro, and he, yo, it was, it was so fire to me. Like that was like one of the first dunks I saw, and I was like, yo, I, I was like, I was like, I want to learn how to dunk, yo. Look, I just saved my job. That shit, like, oh, you already know. Yeah, Dominique was one of the first guys I seen. I was like, yo, man, this dude's fucking. All right, let us know how you, how y'all feel this thought uh, about the uh, uh, whatever you want to call that shit, stand dunk contest, All Star Weekend. We are the Dirty Hills. I'm Good Brother Bove. Kofi Weston. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And we are the dirty hit. Uh, dirty hit. Pass that guy, bitch. Bang! You already know. <laughs> Aww. Dirty heels approved. <laughs> <laughs>